So the first thing you're going to want to do is measure the inside of the slope from the floor up, leaving a, a safe distance. I'm going to go with 74 centimeters. After you've measured that, you mark it. This is the clean side. This is the, the, the rough back end. So you measure 74 centimeters here and you mark your 74 centimeter point on there. Then you measure 58 centimeters, which is the depth of the wardrobe from the lowest point there to here, 58 centimeters. And then from this point, you measure upwards to the ceiling to the furthest point up. So look like this. That point up all the way there. My one is 121, so I measure that on the clean side here. So we measure the 74 there. We're gonna measure 121 and mark it on this side. So that's point 74, that's point 121. Now we draw a straight line and join these two together. It's going to be the shape. Now we draw the line on the outside and then we cut this piece. The second piece the other side of it it doesn't matter what's the top and what's on the bottom as long as you know where this edge is which is the back and where the clean edge is for the front then what you're going to do get the piece that you've cut already mirror it on top of this one everything is 100% flush and again make sure rough edge with rough edge clean edge with clean edge both sides here then you draw the line here cut the bottom piece again after you remove this cut the bottom piece then we'll take it from there that's what it looks like once it's marked remove this one now put it on the side you don't need this now Take this for cutting across this line. So after you've cut both pieces, line them up next to each other like this. Rough edge on the outside, both clean, nice edges on the inside, rough edge on the outside. Then what you're gonna wanna do, Grab six of these, one goes in this hole, one goes in this hole, and one goes in this hole. Screw these in properly, obviously same on the other side here as well. Screw these in properly, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, those six are in. Since we don't have a top at the moment, and it's not a flat top, and we're not going on the instructions for a standard fit, ignore anything that goes on the top for now. Grab this next piece, which is the bottom piece. Put these four pieces of wood in on the inner holes. So that would be the outer one, that's the inner one. One there, one there, and the same on the other side. And then you're gonna wanna do a piece of wood 
on the inside of these, four piece on this side, four on that side. So two on each side of these. Once that's done, we'll move on to the next step. Next, following on the instructions, join these two together. So they just go in here and click. Then you're gonna to wanna to hammer these in. So turn it to the position where you've got one hole there and one hole there and no other holes on the top. Position it like this. Position this one like this and hammer them in properly. Screw this leg in. Do the same for this side, just to the point where it just about touches the floor from the bottom, touches it, and then you stop, that's it. So the next bit is, this piece comes up, and we fit it with the two legs parallel to each other on one side. Then fit it on this piece. That's the front clean piece. The legs will be going to be parallel to that. So it gets fit into here. And then I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So that's fit. That's on there now. Then you get the front piece. Clean piece. Fit that here. So once we fit the back panel, once we fit the front panel with the nice edge, those are in there. Then what we're going to want to do is secure these with these. So again, following on the instructions in the manual, just put them in one by one and screw them clockwise to lock it in. Repeat the same for these. Right, since I'm currently doing this on my own, I've lifted up the top piece, obviously parallel to the bottom one, put it on top, fit it in from here nicely, and I've put this in here, this is just a loose piece, it's not fit, this is the actual top piece for the wardrobe, I've just put it here just for support of this end, while I screw these in here, and then I'm going to need somebody's help to hold this side and someone's going to hold that side and then we gently tip it over so that's what it looks like for right this moment just some advice if you do decide to tip this over yourself without using somebody's help you will end up breaking it from the inside of this where the screws on the inside here will just yank off they can't take the pressure because there's nothing securing it on here and there this is literally just a loose piece just holding it up with nothing attached to it right once you've stood it up this next bit ikea are not going to be happy about you're going to want to drill holes about five mil down from the edge so about here right five of them one there one there, one there, one there, and one there. Five. You don't want to get too close to the edge because this part is going to be empty. You're not going to have anything there. So five small, tiny holes, just with a very small drill bit, just to make the screws go in easier. You'll know why in a minute. So five there. Exact same five on the opposite side here. In pretty much the same positions. They don't have to be in the exact same positions, but roughly in the same positions. That's what the holes look like from the outside. That's what it looks like on the inside, but that's not a problem. That's going to disappear in a minute. Then you want to get uh, you want to get yourself ten of these one and a half inch screws, and then you need to get the top now. And again, someone needs to help you. Um, I'm going to leave these two holes on the top. And that's going to be on the bottom on the inside so that's basically going to be the roof which is what we've done on these three here before so i'll show you when we fit those 
no advice if you don't pre-drill these holes prepared for the screws when you come to screw in the screws to hold in the top most likely you're gonna end up breaking this chipboard you're gonna have cracks all over the place it's gonna break it all off and it's gonna look terrible and it won't hold the, the, the top part properly and it's gonna be a waste of your time Once it's in position, just screw them in. Once everything's screwed in, make sure that's flush. That's the top part. Make sure this doesn't stick out any further than this line, otherwise the doors won't shut. Lay the wardrobe down with the back facing upwards and measure for the backing from the end point here to the point right there, so 66 centimeters on this one to cut the back uh, panel. Next bit is you fit the hinges on the insides of the doors and then use the holes that are existing on there to fit the one because then you'll get the even height on both sides and when the door's shut it looks like this then you can start fitting in your rails, your drawers, your shelves, whatever you want to fit in there then you're sorted